Together, the myth that Alzheimer's is a singular disease separate from aging that people get in old age carried the promise that science would one day cure the condition. But, as you have learned, Alzheimer's cannot be differentiated from normal brain aging. To cure Alzheimer's disease would literally mean having to arrest the various processes of brain aging. This brings us to myth three, that we can cure Alzheimer's through the continued investment of our public and private dollars. I am not alone in casting doubt upon this myth. As you will read in the myth of Alzheimer's, even scientists in the AD research field will tell you that a cure is unlikely and that we will need to invest our dollars more wisely by putting them towards prevention and care rather than predominantly in cure. However, like the myth of the fountain of youth, which captivated past civilizations with promises of eternal health and vitality, the promise of a panacea for one of our most dreaded, quote, diseases of old age, unquote, is a powerful cultural myth, and one purveyed by powerful pharmaceutical companies, advocacy organizations, and private researchers with much profit to gain. It is a myth we have been seduced by, and the combination of hype and fear it inspires has distorted our expectations and our understandings about our aging brains. In the myth of Alzheimer's, my co-author and I tell a new story that can move us past these troubling misapprehensions and towards a more hopeful future. We hope that you will join our community, both by reading our book and exploring our website, www.themythofalzheimers.com. Here you can learn more about brain aging and even share your own personal story with our online community. Together, our collective efforts can change the way we care for aging persons and ourselves as we grow older in the 21st century. We wish you well on your journey.